it is of interest to understand how many nodes can actually be stored in a tree. So let's have a look at the tree height versus the potential capacity. When you do such kind of theoretic analysis, it's important, of course, to know about and specify the exact chi's we are talking about. So we talk here about a tree where the maximum degree d of the nodes is set. So we have this degree d and we assume that the tree is, according to this definition, a, com a complete and a perfect tree, in fact. It means all levels are completely filled. So let's have a look how many we can store for a given height. So if a height is zero, well, we have only the root nodes. So the maximum number of nodes at this level is one. So the total nodes for all the levels is one as well. If we have a height of one, now we can store D nodes, because you remember our root now has basically D children. So this new depth will add D new nodes. And the total node is of course the number of nodes that we had of a tree before. So the height zero tree plus D now. At a height of two, now it becomes more interesting. Now each of our D nodes that we have had have D children. So we have in fact D square many new nodes. Our total number of nodes now is one plus D plus D square. And this goes on and on. So when we think of a perfectly balanced binary tree, so often we use D equals two for a binary tree. That means we have at most two children. Now we have exactly two children. Then you will get the number of nodes, which is kind of what we calculated here, to be, if you do this sum, you can convert it into two to the power of height plus one minus one. Okay, so what does it mean? Well, at the height of three, we have to take two to the power of four, which makes 16 minus one. That means we can store at most 15 nodes. Let's have a look at a height of one. Then we have two to the power of one plus one makes two. So two to the power of two. Well, that is four minus one is three. Let's have a look at our tree here. Well, if we have a maximum level a height of one, well, we have three nodes. That seems appropriate and correct. There is also another special case, which is, is the fully degenerated tree. That means you have D equal one. It means it's in fact a list where the height, you have at most height plus one nodes. Okay, so 